Morning everyone! Hope you are having a wonderful day, my friend! Living in Okinawa is actually quite an uncommon thing, especially for the young people like me in Japan. Many of my Japanese friends are actually pretty confused and pretty curious about the lifestyle in Okinawa. They all think there's literally nothing in here, because it's just a little island and it's a countryside. I mean, at some point, that's not wrong. If you compare the Okinawa to the Osaka or the Tokyo, but just personally, I totally disagree with that point. I think the biggest differences between the Okinawa and the Honshu Island is the culture. First, you got the Ryukyu culture, which is the native Okinawa culture. Second, you got the culture from the Honshu Island, which is traditional style Japanese culture. And third, you've got the American culture. But the point is, that's the reason why I think Okinawa is actually a perfect place to live. Some Japanese people, they actually don't like the situation of American soldiers living at their own territory. Yes, of course, there are so many US soldiers living at this island, so there's good things and bad things. But for the most of the time, just in my opinion, I think it's the good things more than the bad things. Just in my opinion. And speak of the Uncle Siam's culture. In today's video, I'm going to take you guys to the best hamburger in Okinawa, which is Gordy's Burger Place. Now, as you can see, I am inside the burger place. And I think one of the reasons why I love about this place is the interior decoration. The post on the wall, the donuts they are selling, the whole environment is just perfect. Love this place. For today's meal, I ordered the bacon cheeseburger combo set. I also ordered a plate of buffalo wing chicken. And here comes my bacon cheese hamburger. And some potato and pickles. And man, it just looks so great. First, take a look at the big chunk of sliced tomato above it. One slice of bacon, cheese, onion, beef meat patty. This burger looks perfect and smells perfect. God, I can't wait to eat it. But just hold on for a second. If you have any chance to come here, don't just eat the hamburger over here. Go try the buffalo wing chicken. Because I actually came here a couple of times before. And let me tell you something. The buffalo wings over here, is perfect. But first, let's go try our burger, shall we? Mm. Wow. Honest with you guys, I'm not acting right now, but this hamburger, man, this hamburger is the best hamburger I ever eat in Japan. Mm. It's perfect. Okay, so first impression. If you want me to score this burger, I will give it a 10 out of 10. The reason why I'm saying that is because nowadays it's quite hard to define a good hamburger. Because there are simply so many styles and they all have their own unique criteria. But for me, the way to define a good bacon cheeseburger is the satisfaction you get after your first bite. And man, I'm not kidding with you guys. The satisfaction you get from this burger, just like the heat waves from the Oklahoma blacktop. The juicy slice of tomato above it, extremely strong flavor beef patty, a little overcooked crispy buns. It just can't get any better. I think there are actually lots of hamburger places in Okinawa, such as the Captain Gangara's burger in Motobu, or the Warren's Place 2.1 burger. But if you compare those places to this place, I will still recommend this place. Because just in my opinion, I think the Captain's Gangara's burger is a little bit... I don't know how to say. The sauce in their burger is a little bit too sweet. It's very hard to control the balance of the flavor. And for the Warren's Place 2.1 burger, that place actually provides a very good quality hamburger. And it also tastes fantastic. But it's a little bit expensive. Okay, so this time, let's go try the buffalo wings. 
Mm. 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 Excellent. The chicken meat itself is extremely tender and well cooked. It tastes a little bit sweet, but also a little bit spicy outside. But if you combine with the special sauce, man, it's good. It's very good. Also, I think that the difficult part about making those buffalo wings or any other fried chicken is that sometimes it could be a little bit raw inside. But this place, my man, they nailed it. I mean, seriously, if they open their shop near my house, I probably will go there every day. Because it's just that good. Mmm. That bacon cheeseburger is good, it's perfection. There are also some American style hamburger style in Tokyo too, but from my experience, that one is the best one. Did you guys watch the movie named The Menu? I mean, hamburger itself is not a very expensive item, but sometimes simple is the best. Also, this video is the last video I took in Okinawa Island, because my company is sending me back to Tokyo, or more specifically, Chiba. Decision has been made, so I can't argue with that. But it doesn't mean it's the end of this channel. In fact, since I'm moving back to Tokyo, then there's lots of other new content waiting for me to discover. It's a new journey for me, but also for this channel. And yep, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. My name is Kyle. This channel is about... is about everything in Japan. And after when I getting settled in Chiba or Tokyo, I will do my best to provide more good quality content for you guys. And if you guys like my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.